This is a tough hole measuring 390 yards from the ladies tee, but it is a par 5 with a stroke index of 11. The hole features a sharp dog leg to the right and bunkers at its apex, making for a very difficult drive. Add to that a fairway that slopes from left to right and it's enough to grab the attention of any player. The first two fairway bunkers on this hole can be avoided by most players, but if these are a concern, play to the left half of the fairway using the natural contours to bring the ball back to the centre. The next large bunker on the left is 169 yards from the tee. The sensible play is to hit your tee shot short of the bunker to open up the hole and leave you with a straight shot to the green from around 190 yards. The second bunker measures 240 yards from the tee, so you must be confident of threading the ball to the right of both bunkers, mindful that this is the, near, the narrowest at this point and the contours will send the ball towards the rough and cluster of trees lying in the fairway. On your second shot, bear in mind that the ball is likely to be below your feet for the right-handed player, so aiming left and allowing for the ball to drift to the right is a necessity. The second green of the high course is once again a fairly large green, measuring 33 yards at its deepest points and 22 yards at its widest. The green sits at an angle to the fairway, meaning that despite its large size, accessing the whole surface of the green is challenging. This can make the green feel like a smaller target on your approach. The apron to the green is small, meaning any approach shot where the golfer is trying to run the ball onto the green surface will have to ensure they are accurate. The green is also protected by a runoff area to the left of the green, and you will face a significant change in level from the green surface when playing a chip shot back onto the green from this position. The rear of the green doesn't present any significant danger, other than the potential for some tricky lies. There are two bunkers protecting the front of the green. The front left should be avoided, but the front right shouldn't give the golfer too much of a challenge. The green slopes from front left to back right of the green. There are some significant slope values where a tricky two-putt can be present if travelling down or across these high slope values. In general, the best opportunity for scoring is for shots positioned to the right of any pin location. This will leave the flattest putt back up the slope. You should be wary of missing the green to the left of this green, and especially mindful if the flag is positioned in the front left corner. 